All right, here we go. All right, today we're doing power. I've actually got the wrong book up. Okay, we're doing power. We're going to start on page um, 111 under where it says power. And then uh, I gave them a handout. Uh, you will find out, of course, in your classroom or classwork page. Um, and then the questions will come from the handout, not from the book. But it shares some good information. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, I don't know how to act. They're actually quiet. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, the amount of work to do. Uh, let me start over, shall we? The amount of work you do on an object is not affected by the time it takes you to do the work. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Okay. For example, if you carry a backpack up a flight of stairs, the work you do. Uh, is the weight of the backpack times the height of the stairs, okay? We're going to break that down a little bit more later. Whether you walk or run up the stairs, you do the same amount of work. We're going to prove that here in a few minutes, okay? Because time is not part of the definition of work, okay? What's the definition of work? Anybody remember? Force. Force equals uh, force times force distance. Force times distance. Yeah. Okay. Time, so, distance. Time, time is not involved in there anywhere. Okay, but time is involved when it comes ready to find out the amount of power that you uh, exerted. Okay, but time is important when you talk about power. Power is the rate at which work is done. So power equals the amount of work done on an object in a unit of time. Now, that sounds all confusing, but we're going to break it down here, I promise, okay? Uh, so you need more power, obviously, to run up the st stairs with your backpack than to walk because you, uh, it takes you less time to do the same amount of work, okay? So you're doing the same amount of work whether or not you run or you walk because you're carrying the same load the same distance, okay? So by the formula of work, you've done the exact same amount of work. But if you run in five seconds and you walk it in 40 seconds, obviously you exerted more power to run up the steps. Okay, we're going we're to figure all that out in a few minutes. Okay? All right, you can think of power in another way. An object that has more power than another object does more work at the same time. Um, for example, okay, a car engine does work to accelerate the car from its rest position the greater a car's engine's power, the faster the engine can accelerate the car. So if you got a 450 horsepower uh, Dodge Charger, oh, yeah. and your friend has a four-cylinder Ford Fiesta, and you're both on the start line, and you want to see how long it takes you to get from zero to 60, that 450 horsepower engine should blow the little four-cylinder out of the water as far as the time it takes to get from zero to 60 because it's got a whole lot more power, okay? So it can be able cover the distance. It's going to do more work in a shorter period of time. Yes, Spirit? Or like the 600 power, um, a full power on a snowcat, like, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, because we all have one of those. <laughs> what is okay. that? Um, Side note, okay, this is science, just a different time. How many of you know who Chuck Yeager was? He passed away last night. Well, last night? Oh, yeah. He passed away last night. He was, 90, he was, 97, he was 97 years old. He was 97 years old. Shh, stop. Anybody know who he is? No. Yeah, you don't, we don't talk about him anymore. Uh, when I was a kid, he was kind of like a, a, a hero type, almost. Hey. Yes. Baseball player? No, he wasn't a baseball uh, player. No, I do not idolize athletes. He was uh, the first. I never have, never will. He was the first something. He was the first something. Very good. He was. No. Hey, hey, at least he's on the right track. He was. He was the first man to break the sound barrier. Yeah, that's what. He was in an airplane. He was the first man. To, in order to break the sound barrier, you got to. Go about 700 miles an hour. He did it in 1949. He broke the sound barrier. 
Okay? And he later on goes on, and I mean, he's a test pilot for the Air Force, and he goes on and does a, at one point in time, he actually has a fighter plane that he gets up to over 1,600 miles an hour. Okay? He, he participates in dog fights in two different wars. He runs bombing raids in Vietnam. He was a retired brigadier uh, general from the Air Force. Uh, he was, he, he was, yeah, he was, uh, uh, he was an American hero in my opinion. Uh, okay. But we don't know who he is because, well, he didn't throw the football 30 yards or hit the, hit a baseball 450 feet. So we don't know who he is. So he died last night? He passed away last night at 97. Okay. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to remember because we will talk a little bit about him in the next unit we do on light and sound. We will talk about him. So a little bit about him. If you, if you break the sound barrier and like, let's you're sitting right here and a plane comes by you, that's breaking the sound You hear a loud boom. But, but the time is over there, you'll hear it, right? You hear it, right? that, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, calculating power. Whenever you know how fast work is done, you can calculate the power, Okay. Power is calculated by dividing the amount of work done by the amount of time it takes to do the work. Okay, so the formula for power is power equals work divided by time. Now remember, in order to get work, it is force times distance. Okay, you need to know those two because you, in order, you got to be able to figure out the work done in order to figure out the power. Okay, so power equals, in order to figure it out, in order to figure out work, you see how they wrote it differently here. They wrote this, the exact same formula, but they used force times distance in the second one because that's how you figure out work. And then you divide it by time. And the way they, they got a problem here, and you're not going, come here, Mr. West. Yeah. I'm going to let you hold the... Uh, iPad for me, so if you can't see, we'll bl we'll bring uh, blame us, uh, Spirit. Yeah, all right. see, it's always my fault. All right, the problem in the book. We just want to work it. Okay, it talks about a tow truck exerts a force of eleven thousand newtons. Okay, so you got eleven thousand newtons. Okay. <laughs> and it covers a distance. Okay, it tells about how it pulls a car out of a ditch. It moves the car a distance of five meters in 25 seconds. So what's the power, uh, the power of the tow truck? So first we got to figure out what the work done was, right? So we got to take the force, which was 11,000, times the uh, distance, which was five meters, right? So that would be 55 thousand all right okay and it's technically it's newton meters okay all right so now uh yeah i believe we can okay yeah all right so now you know how much work was done so now you're trying to figure out the power so to figure out the power you take the amount of work that was done which we know was fifty-five thousand newtons okay and you divide it by the time Okay, and the time was 25 seconds. So 25 will go into that 2,200 times. And of course you measure it by joules per second or watts, which we'll talk about in a second. So it's really very simple. Okay, all you got to do, all you got to do is figure out the work, okay? And it gives you all everything to do on work. It, tell, it tells you the distance, it tells you the force. Okay, so you just have to figure out how much work. Then you divide the time into the work, and that gives you the power. Thank you. If you would set it back down. All right, you have a uh, question, Rihanna? Yeah. Okay. What's your question? I'm writing that down. Okay. I just don't get it. The truck, it's right out of your book. The truck, 11,000 newtons of force by five, it took it, uh, it moved it five meters. Okay. So this is how you figure out work is the force times distance. 
So that's where this came from, okay? And then to get time, you take the, the uh, or the power, you take the time, which was 25 seconds, and divide it into work. But why would it be like, does work and power have like the same thing like joules? Power is measured in joules per second or watts. They're the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah they're the same thing. You can write it either way. Okay? All right. So, power unit, when work is measured in joules in time in seconds, the SI unit of power is joules per second, or the JS that I put on the board there. Okay? And it's also, you can also measure power in watts, W-A-T-T. -T, okay? And that's in honor of James Watt, uh, who made improvements on the steam engine, if you remember your history before you got it to here. Okay? So one joule of work done in one second is one watt of power. Okay? So a watt is relatively small unit of power because watts is so small, power is often measured in larger units. Okay? It's measured in kilowatts. Okay? And a kilowatt equals a thousand watts. Kilo is a thousand. So it's a yeah. That is how uh, your electric bill at your house comes in in kilowatts. Okay. Yeah, it comes in in kilowatts. One. Okay. Oh yeah, that's how. That yeah, and, but it's a measurement of of power over time is what it is. When people talk about engines for vehicles, they use another power unit instead of watts. Okay, the unit is the horsepower, and one horsepower, and we're going to break it down on the or handout even a little bit more. But it's roughly 746 watts, okay? And the horsepower is not a SI unit, okay? All right, now, let's move on to your handout. And it's got, it's got some good stuff here, too, okay? Um, the word power is often described of someone of authority, like a king or a dictator, it also is used to describe some, someone or something that is very strong. Uh, this talks about like a baseball player hitting home runs and whatnot. Um, in physics, power is used to describe the rate at which energy is used. In other words, it's a measurement of how fast you are using energy. So when you think about your mom and dad getting up and going to work in the mornings or you come to school to do work, it's a little bit different, okay? Our, our thinking of work is a little different than the scientific meaning of work, okay? Uh, the equation that describes power is power equals work divided by time, okay? So that is how you figure out power. It is work divided by time, okay? In order to find work, it's force times distance, okay? When you run up, and we're back to running up the steps again, okay? When you run up a flight of stairs in five seconds, or you take a slow walk at the same flight in 40 seconds, you're doing the same amount of work, okay? Because you're going up that flight of stairs, the, the steps are the same, okay? Um, but it's the time that, and the force that you're taking up is the same. So you technically, you're doing the same work. However, you are doing it at a different rate. When you run up the stairs, you're working much faster. While running up the stairs, you have a higher power uh, when, than you do when you walk up the stairs, okay? Obviously, if you've ever run up, carried your book bag up those steps out there and you ran, and then the next time you came up and you walked, you probably weren't quite as tired when you got to the top if you walked up them, okay? Whether you run up a flight of stairs in five seconds or you take a slow walk at the same flight in 40, uh, you're doing that same amount of work, okay? If the work it takes you to climb the stairs is a thousand joules, okay, then we can calculate the power in both cases, okay? And they, they labeled them as P1, you're running, and P2, you're walking, okay? So if you run up the stairs, Okay, to figure out power, you, you, know, you know the work was 1,000 joules. The time was five seconds, so the formula is work divided by time. So you take the 1,000 joules, 
you divide it by the five seconds. So you did 200 watts of work if you ran up the steps. If you walked up the steps, since you did the same amount of work, it's still a thousand joules, but it took you 40 seconds. Okay, same amount of work divided by just a larger time. So a thousand divided by 40 is 25 watts. So you can see you did quite a bit more, you used quite a bit more power. You did the same work, but you used more power if you run up the steps, okay? So how to measure power? The standard unit for measuring power is watt, the ATT. From the equation above, we can see that power is work divided by time, and the unit for work is the joule, the J. So a watt is the same as a joule second, okay? Or a, a, the capital J slash small s, okay? That's the joule per second, that, and one, one joule per second equals one watt. Yes, sir? So basically when we were uh, giving the example of a uh, power Work, but that would be considered power, right? You would be doing some power, yeah, you would, you would exert power, but you would not be doing any work. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but if, you didn't do power, if you didn't do work, then you can't calculate power, so technically you didn't do anything. But your body says uh, different, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You do, you do 100 push-ups in two minutes, your body's going, yeah, you did something, trust me. Okay. <laughs> again, again, we're talking scientific here. Okay, we're talking scientific definition. We all know, because doing push-ups, you did 100 push-ups a day, you're actually going to build a little bit of muscle up. I mean, you know. Okay? All right. Now, another common unit for power that is used for automobile engines and machines is horsepower, okay? One horsepower is equivalent to 745.7 .7 watts. Okay, the handout breaks it down exactly. 745.7 .7 watts, that's one horsepower, okay? So power can also be calculated from the force and velocity of an object using the following equation, okay? Power equals force times velocity. So if you see one where it talks about velocity on your homework questions, hint, hint, you probably want to look at that formula. What did you say it was? Okay, it's right there in your handout, darling. Well, then you know what? I can't help you. You don't want to look in the book. You don't want to look at the handout. There's not a whole lot I can do to help. Okay. Electrical power. When figuring out the electrical power, we use the current and the voltage. Current is measured in amps, and voltage is measured in volts, V-O-L-T-S. Current is represented in the equation with an I. What is current? Okay. Uh, the flow of electricity, oh, yeah. if you would. Okay. Or jelly. There is such a thing as current jelly, but it has nothing to do with this. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Never mind. It's just a very poor attempt at humor, apparently. Why is current? When, when it takes you longer to explain the joke than it did to tell it, you know it was a bad joke, okay? But All right. why is current I? All right, you what? Because, because uh, C was already taken for something else. Yeah, they ran out of, they ran out of uh, letters to use, so they had to, they had to go to All right, so an example problem, what is the power of an electrical circuit generating three amps at 10 votes. 30 okay. watts. 30 watts, it's three times 10. Yeah, you just multiply, it says it right there. Force times velocity, okay? So you just, have, all you gotta do is. Could you say 30 joules too? You could, uh, joules slash S. It can't just be joules because it's joules per second. Okay. Okay? All right, interesting facts. Explosions may not always release a lot of energy, but because they release uh, energy over a very short uh, period of time, they, are very, they can be very powerful. The power bill, which we get in the mail, is usually built in kilowatt hours. This is power over time, which is actually measured, a measurement of energy used and not power. Um, 
The power exerted by the space shuttle, this is pretty cool. The space shuttle rockets at liftoff is around 12 billion watts. That's a lot of energy. Try to write that out. Okay, yeah, try to write that one out. How much horsepower is that? That's why they have the scientific exponents. Uh, How much horsepower is that? Uh, that's a bunch. Well, figure it out. Here we go. We're going to tell you. One horsepower is equal to the power it takes to lift 550 pounds of one foot in one second. So figure out how far this thing has gone. Multiply. <laughs> Someone actually did the math on it, I guarantee it. We could probably find that somewhere, the answer to that real question. But I don't know. Uh, that, would, that would be a bunch. I just tell you that, okay? Like the guy who does the biggest yeah. math problems in the world, you're sad out. Like, three, four. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. Bye.